From the New World, Shinshi Jia Yori Shin Sakai Yori is a Japanese novel by Yusuke Kishi, originally published in 2008 by Kodansha. It received the 29th Nihon SF Taisho Award. The story received a manga adaptation with slight disparities in Kodansha's Besatsu Shonen magazine, which was serialized between May 2012 and June 2014, and an anime television series adaptation by A1 Pictures, which aired in Japan between October 2012 and March 2013. The manga has been licensed by Vertical Inc. and the anime by Sentai Filmworks in North America. It is titled after Antonin Dvorak's Symphony No. 9. From the New World, whose movement too appears in the story several times. Topic Plot Topic Part One Set in Japan 1,000 years after the modern era, Shin Sakai Yori follows the life of Sake Watanabe, a girl from the town of Kamisu 66. In this era, all humans possess powerful psychic abilities and live an idyllic life in agrarian villages. Despite her parents' fears that she may not awaken her powers, Sake gains her special powers at the age of 12 and joins her friends. Satoru Asahina, Maria Akazuki, Mamoru Aitu, Shun Aonuma, and Reiko Amano in Sage Academy, a special school for psychics. However, the children are unaware that the village government is monitoring and evaluating students through the education system. Based on these evaluations, certain students are removed from society because of reasons such as poor performance, such as with Reiko, or for cheating. The memories of the removed students are erased from the community, Sake and her remaining friends have no memory of Reiko and other students. During an unsupervised camping field trip, Sake and her friends capture a false Minoshiro, a mythical animal revealed to be an ancient library robot. The false Minoshiro explains the violent truth of how the current era came about and what their special powers truly are. In AD 2013, 0.3% of the population developed psychic abilities that allowed them to alter their surrounding environment. Soon after the powers manifest, many begin using them for violence and crime. This leads to a breakdown of modern society and a world war that devastates the human population. The conscious and unconscious use of these powers alter the wildlife and the environment. After the fall of modern society, oppressive, feudalistic regimes rise up over humanity. These regimes, too, dissolve in chaos due to the violence of the psychic humans. Eventually, the psychic-endowed humans established a stable society where they control their powers by using genetic modification and social conditioning to make themselves incapable of violence against other humans attack inhibition. If a psychic human kills another, a biological death feedback is activated, causing the murderer's organs to shut down and the attacker to die almost instantly. The villages also use genetically designed animals for various purposes. The mole-like monster rats resemble humanity, able to speak human language and living in a complex eusocial society ruled by queens. The feline impure cats are used to kill children at risk of developing one of the two dangerous disorders, the karmic demons, Yimo Goma, who are unable to control their powers, and the ogres, Igwe Akki, who can suppress the attack inhibition and death feedback and use their special powers against humans. In the middle of interrogating the false Minoshiro, Sake and her friends are found by the monk Raijin. He destroys the false Minoshiro and seemingly seals away the children's special powers for associating with a demon. On the way back to be judged at the village, Raijin is killed by a rogue monster rat tribe while Sake and Satoru are separated from their friends. They are captured by the rogue monster rat colony. Using objects found during their trip, Sake and Satoru are able to escape their prison. During their escape, they meet a monster rat, Squealer, of the robber fly colony who rescues them from their pursuers. Sake and Satoru help Squealer and his colony to defeat the rogue monster rats, later with assistance from General Kirumaru and his giant hornet colony, a colony with an especially close relationship to humans. 
After regrouping with their friends with the help of Squealer and General Kirumaru, Sake restores their powers, using the same hypnotic methods the village uses to control children, before returning to the village under the belief that the adults do not know of their transgressions. Topic. Part 2 Two years later, as Sake and her friends reach adolescence and develop relationships, Shun starts to distance himself from the others and eventually goes missing. Sake finds Shun in an abandoned house and learns that he has become a karmic demon and had been sent to die in isolation. After holding himself back for the duration of their meeting, Shun tells Sake to go while telling her the adults know of their transgressions two years ago before using his powers to take his own life. Soon after, unlike with Reiko, Sake and her remaining friends start to realize Shun's absence despite being unable to fully remember him. In time, Sake learns that the survival of herself and her friends has been orchestrated by the Education Board and the Ethics Committee head Tomiko Asahina, who sees Sake as a potential successor. Later, Mamoru and Maria run away after the Education Board tries to purge Mamoru. Squealer, renamed by the humans as Yakamaru as a reward for his usefulness, helps them by staging their deaths. However, after finding the robber fly queen lobotomized and that Yakamaru acquired a false Minoshiro, Sake begins to have dreams of a faceless child that tells her not to find Mamoru and Maria as they must die. Topic. Part 3 Now 26 years old, Sake works for the village government in the Department of Mutant Management, which oversees the monster rats. Yakamaru's colony slowly ascends to power while conquering other colonies and wiping out the giant hornet colony, eventually attacking Kamisu 66 with what is believed to be an ogre that the monster rats refer to as their messiah. This is later revealed to be the biological child of Mamoru and Maria who Yakamaru raised after murdering the parents. After evading the ogre and learning that Yakamaru intends to steal more human infants to create an army to wipe out the human race, Sake and Satoru are joined by Kirumaru who guides them to the ruins of Tokyo to find the Psychobuster, an anthrax-like anti-psychic weapon. With Yakamaru's forces surrounding them, Satoru attempts to kill the messiah with the psychobuster, but Sake destroys the weapon because its use at such close proximity would also have killed Satoru. Sake realizes that the messiah is not truly an ogre, but actually a regular psychic like themselves, with one key difference, the messiah considers monster rats as his kin which is what enables him to bypass the death feedback when attacking other humans. With seemingly no options left, Sake and Satoru plead with Kirumaru for help. After admitting his own disdain towards humans and their treatment of his kind, Kirumaru agrees to help, but asks for his colony to be spared the humans' retaliation once the revolt is ended. He disguises himself as a human and attacks the messiah. The messiah kills Kirumaru, but upon realizing that Kirumaru is a monster rat, dies due to death feedback. With the Messiah dead and his rebellion crushed Squealer as defeated. Renouncing the name the humans gave him, Squealer is sentenced to perpetual torture of the infinite hell, where his body is simultaneously regenerated and destroyed using psychic powers. However, Sake is troubled when Squealer explains the reasons behind his revolt, claiming that his people are human. Later, Sake learns from Satoru that the monster rats are the descendants of normal humans whose DNA had been altered with mole rat genes to make it easier for the psychic humans to control them, since they will not trigger attack inhibition and death feedback. Now feeling sorry for Squealer, Sake secretly puts him out of his misery. In the epilogue ten years later, Sake has married Satoru and they expect their first child. Both are positive that the world will be a better place by the time their child grows up. Topic. Characters 
Topic main characters Sake Watanabe, Dubian Zhao Ji Watanabe Sake, voiced by Riza Taneda, 12, 14, and 26 years old, Aya Endo, narrator, 36 years old, Japanese, Emily Nevis, English, initially, Sake is 12 years old and has short brown hair. As a 14 year old, she is quite argumentative and her hair becomes shoulder length. Although ambiguous, she is implied to be Maria's official girlfriend. Despite that, her feelings for Shun remain strong. After several incidents occur, she is eager to know the true secrets of the town. Tomiko also reveals that she has a strong mental stability making her capable of overcoming setbacks. After the second time skip, she is 26 and works at the Department of Mutant Management, investigating and regulating the monster rat colonies. In the epilogue, she marries Satoru and succeeds Tomiko as head of the ethics committee. Pregnant, Sake writes her experiences down so future generations would read in hope the world becomes a better place. Satoru Asahina, Chao Bai Nai Wei Asahina Satoru, voiced by Kanako Tojo, 12 years old, Yuki Kaji, 14, 26 and 36 years old, Japanese, Greg Ayers, English, Satoru is an energetic and mischievous boy who likes to argue with Sake. He is also observant, smart, and skillful in using his telekinesis. After the time skip, Satoru becomes Shun's boyfriend, but he starts dating another boy shortly after their breakup. After a second time skip, he becomes Saki's partner and closest friend. He is adept at creating reflections, in the form of creating mirrors out of air, a skill that turns out to be incredibly useful. After the battle with the monster rats, Satoru also discovers the disturbing truth about the monster rat's origin and years later, becomes Saki's husband, Shun Aonuma, Ching Zhao Shun Aonuma Shun, voiced by, Mai Toto, 12 years old, Ayumu Murase, 14 years old, Japanese, Clint Bickham, English, Shun is the smartest and most composed of the group of friends and is able to think his way out of any situation. He is also very knowledgeable. Shun is also implied to be the most talented telekineticist of their generation. After the time skip, he becomes Satoru's boyfriend, but later breaks up with him. Eventually he loses control of his telekinesis, turning him into a karmic demon, Yimo Goma. It is also revealed that Shun had loved Sake since childhood, but he chose to avoid her due to his growing uncontrollable power. Near the end, he seems to have manifested a part of himself in Saki's consciousness, giving her crucial advice in order to change her decisions in the last few episodes. Maria Akazuki, Chu Yu Jen Li Ya Akazuki Maria, voiced by Kana Hanazawa, Japanese, Monica Rial, English Maria has long red hair and is stated to be the most popular girl in her class. After the time skip, she develops feelings for Sake and becomes her girlfriend, although she later forms a duty pair with Mamoru. She is particularly adept at matter movement e.g. levitation. After Mamoru runs away, she leaves the others to join him. It is revealed that she was pregnant with Mamoru's child and was held by the robber fly colony before she was murdered upon her child's birth. Mamoru Ito, Yi Dong Shou Ito Mamoru, voiced by Haruka Kudo, 12 years old, Matoki Takagi, 14 years old, Japanese, Blake Shepard, English, Mamoru is the most timid and the least talented of the group. Following the time skip, he grows to have a crush on Maria and eventually partners with her as a duty pair. After learning about the Board of Education's plans to dispose of him, he leaves the village and hides in the mountains. Maria promises him that they will never be apart again, subsequently joining him and leaving the others behind. After the second time skip, with Tomiko confirming it, Mamoru was killed by the robber fly monster rats and had a child with Maria that Squealer raised to be the monster rats. Messiah. Topic. Humans Tomiko Asahina, Chao Bai Nai Fu Zi Asahina Tomiko Voiced by, Yosiko Sakakabara, Japanese, Alison Sumrall, English Satoru's grandmother and also the head of the ethics committee. She intends for Sake to succeed her position as she possesses a strong mental stability as well as the qualities of a leader. 
Because of this, she had asked the Board of Education not to dispose of Sake and her friends despite knowing about the true history. She also revealed that they were responsible for erasing their bad memories of the past to protect the minds of the townsfolk. With the ability to regenerate the telomeres in her cells, Tomiko has managed to extend her life, having lived for more than 250 years. She also had a close encounter with an ogre, Igwe Akki, in the past, Shisei Kaburagi, Dimu Si Shing Kaburagi Shisei. Voiced by, Takanori Hoshino, Japanese, David Matranga, English. The advisor of the Security Council and also the village's strongest telekineticist. He wears a hooded mask and has double irises in each eye, capable of detecting and dispelling attacks from all directions. He also displays calmness and confidence in retaliation against the monster rat's attack on the village but is still powerless against the ogre, Hiromi Toragai, Niaosi Hong Mei, Toragai Hiromi. Voiced by, Yuri Amano, Japanese, Lucy Christian, English, Chairman of the Board of Education. She is the most anxious and cautious among the council representatives. She dies in the monster rats attack during the summer festival, Maseo Komatsuzaki, Shaosong Chi Chong Dai Komatsuzaki Maseo. Voiced by, Kaori Yamagata, Japanese, Nancy Novotny, English, Vice Chairman of the Board of Education, Kofu Hino, Ri Yi Guang Feng Hino Kofu. Voiced by, Kisho Taniyama, Japanese, Rob Mungle, English. The representative of the Occupations Council. He was killed by a sneak attack in the Monster Rats attack during the summer festival, Mizuo Watanabe, Dubian Rui Sui Watanabe Mizuo. Voiced by, Miki Ito, Japanese, Carly Mosier, English. Saki's mother and also the head of the library. She entrusted Sake with the mission to search for the last weapon of mass destruction, Psycho Buster, to eliminate the ogre, Takashi Sugiura, Shanpu Jing Sugiura Takashi. Voiced by, Hiroki Tuchi, Japanese, David Wald, English. Saki's father, Anui, Gan Anui. Voiced by, Kosuke Toriumi, Japanese, Andrew Love, English. A wildlife protection officer. He was tasked to annihilate the robber fly colony and its allies but his mission failed. He was saved by Kirumaru and he later accompanied Saki's group to Tokyo for her mission, Mushin, Wu Chen Mushin. Voiced by, Tamio Oki, Japanese, Carl Masterson, English. An old, heavily bearded head priest of the Temple of Purification. He conducts the ritual for children entering adulthood, Raijin, Li Shane Raijin. Voiced by, Tomokazu Sugita, Japanese, Loraldo Anzaldua, English. A high priest of the Temple of Purification who seals away the children's telekinesis for breaking the rules and escorts them to be judged. He is killed by a balloon dog, Feng Chuan Quan Fusen Inu, Reiko Amano, Tianyi Li Zi Amano Reiko. Voiced by, Yui Hori, Japanese, Brittany Kerbovsky, English. Reiko is the sixth member of Saki's group at the beginning of the story. Due to her weak performance in class, she was the first student to be killed by an impure cat. Topic. Monster rats The monster rats, Baknazumi Baknazumi, are humanoid mole rat mutants who live in colonies and appear obedient to the humans to the point of referring to them as gods. However, during the attack on the humans by Squealer, it's revealed that the monster rats disdain humans for the way they're treated. Sake eventually learns to her horror that monster rats are actually the descendants of normal humans who were genetically modified with mole rat DNA to enable the humans with special powers to subjugate those who don't suffer the death of shame, whom they would otherwise be defenseless against. Squealer, Sukui Ra Sukura, Yakamaru, Yihuan Yakamaru. Voiced by, Daisuke Namakawa, Japanese, John Kaiser, English. 
starting off as a lowly member of the robberfly colony who once offered help to Sake and Satoru, Squealer eventually attains knowledge and gains political clout to become the supreme commander of the robberfly colony, earning the name Yakamaru while exhibiting a Machiavellian nature. Despite being a weak and small colony initially, the robberfly colony grew to rival the giant hornet's colony after the second time skip. He initially appears to be faithful to the humans, but secretly learned the truth of his kind's origin, after which he planned to wipe out the human population and liberate all monster rats. The opportunity came when he had the runaway Maria and Mamoru murdered to obtain their newborn child to raise as both one of his own and as the monster rats. Messiah. Squealer's plan was thwarted by Sake and he was later sentenced to suffer the infinite hell, consumed by his own nervous system and in agonizing pain. However, upon learning the truth behind the monster rats, Sake secretly gives Squealer a merciful death, Kirimaru, Chi Lang Wan Kirimaru. Voiced by, Hiroaki Harada, Japanese, David Wald, English, the supreme commander of the giant hornet colony, he risked his own life to let Sake and Satoru return to their friends instead of executing them. Much later on, Kirumaru's colony was decimated by the robber fly colony with the aid of their messiah, and he ended up at the temple of purification. After being released by Sake, Kirumaru leads her and her group to the ruins of Tokyo to obtain the Psycho Buster to thwart Squealer's plans. After the plan with the Psycho Buster fails, revealing his own disdain for humans, Kirumaru asks Sake to spare his colony from the humans' retaliation as he sacrifices himself to defeat the Messiah Skunk Sukuanku Sukuanku. Voiced by Kanahira Yamamoto, Japanese, John Swazi, English, a member of the Goat Moth colony. Sake saved him from drowning when he fell into a river. Two years later, he repaid the favor by saving Mamoru after he fell off a cliff. He gives Sake a letter from Maria. Topic. Media Topic. Novel The novel From the New World was written by the Japanese author Yusuke Kishi and published by Kodansha. Its original publication was on January 23, 2008, in two volumes. On August 7, 2009, it was re-released as a single volume under the Kodansha novels imprint and again on January 14, 2011, as three volumes under the Kodansha Bunko imprint. Topic. Manga A manga adaption of the novel, drawn by Toru Oikawa, was serialized in Kodansha's Besatsu Shonen magazine. The first chapter was published in the June 2012 issue on May 9, 2012, and the final in the July 2014 issue on June 9, 2014. The series has been collected in seven Tankaban volumes under the Kodansha Comics imprint, released between October 9, 2012, and August 8, 2014. In 2013 the series was licensed in English by Vertical Inc., who released it between November 12, 2013, and January 20, 2015. Topic. Anime. The novel was adapted into an anime television series by A1 Pictures which aired on TV Asahi from October 2012 to March 2013. It has been licensed by Sentai Filmworks in North America. The anime does not have an opening theme but theme songs that are played during the closing credits. War Eta Ringo. Gi Reta Ringo lit. Sliced Apple by Riza Taneda was used for episode 1 through 16, which was replaced by Yuki ni saku hana. Shui ni shao ku wa lit. The Flower Blooming in Snow by Kana Hanazawa starting in episode 17. Topic. Reception In 2008 the novel received the 29th Nihon SF Taisho Award. 
The anime series has been critically acclaimed in the years since its airing, cited as one of the 21st century's top anime by fans and reviewers. <laughs>